It's game day in Spokane. And the good-natured trash talk has already started. While that's pretty normal for a baseball game, this isn't your normal baseball game. Good relationships, good uh, fun, but we, we still want to beat them and smack them around a little. So, If the blindfolds don't give it away, the beeping baseball should. This league is for the blind. I used to play baseball as a kid and as a teenager, so when I heard about it, I knew I just wanted to get out and start playing again. Greg Zabo has been playing on the Spokane Pride for two years now. Hereditary retinitis pigmentosis eventually took almost all his eyesight, but it didn't take away his drive to compete. And you just kind of get used to it. Once you've played a few times, you, you know where to go and you just have to be loose with it. Along with the beeping ball, the pitcher announces each pitch. The blindfolds level the playing field. It's not easy. A lot of it is with the pitcher also working to find our swing. So the pitcher works on our team. We have our own pitchers. When there's a hit, a coach activates sound in one of the two bases. Get to the base before the other team finds the ball, and that's not just a run scored. That's the whole reason to play. The crack off the bat was great. The first time I hit it hard again, it brought me back to when I was younger and used to play, so I really enjoy it. The Pride are part of the National Beat Baseball Association. It's complete with a World Series and Hall of Fame, but it gives even more to players like Sabo. And just have fitness in their life and working out and doing something physical instead of you know, something that they've never been introduced to, and now they are. The anticipation of game day. In Spokane, Aaron Luna, KXOY4 News.